Alright guys, what is up? Random Comic here. I'm going to try to get this commentary done this time. This is like my fifth try. I don't know why. <laughs> really early in the morning. Still kind of stumbling over my words, but I'll try to get this commentary done. I got some Crisis 2 for you guys today. Pretty good game. This is the same lobby I was in the last game, so... Uh, it's pretty much same names and all that stuff. Pretty much same results also. This game... I think I went 24 and 4. My last video I went like 27 and 5, something like that. So same results, but still this is a good game overall. Uh, a few things I just want to touch on: Crisis 2. If you guys haven't played Team Assault or haven't played Crisis 2 because you're pretty much sick of it, they actually raised the score limit, uh, the kill limit in Team Deathmatch to 75. So kind of like Call of Duty, you have 75 kills now. And yeah, before it was 50 kills, which I'm glad they they. Uh, moved it up because now I can get games that are have more kills in them like if this game stopped at 50 kills I would have probably had a you know 19 and 2 game 19 and 3 game something like that but since now I have more time to get more kills I got a game you know 20 plus kills 30 plus kills every now and then that's actually a really nice well placed nade I gotta say <laughs> but uh, look at that dude right there I, I seem to do very well in Crisis 2 lately I don't know if it's because the newbies are on there now but it's really hard to get a good gameplay on crisis too because so many people like to camp speaking of camping <laughs> not gonna say anything uh, but today I had pretty good uh, decent games I was playing did very well had fun didn't really get frustrated but I honestly have to say that crisis 2 is the most inconsistent game out there hit detection and uh, you know being able to shoot at a guy is just so inconsistent. I don't know what it is. It, it really is one of the most inconsistent games on consoles, at least. One of the most beautiful looking games, one of the best running games, and I know that when like the new Xbox comes out or whatever, pretty sure the guys over at Crytek or whoever made this, whoever have this engine, this engine is going to be the next generation engine. This thing looks amazing and it's not even maxed out yet. So I get used to to this how good games are gonna look like this I know they're gonna look a lot better in the future um, another thing I want to touch on really quick about not even crisis 2 but first-person shooters in general why are people camping in this game I don't know why like somebody left a comment like oh this gameplay is you know really good but this is not what I'm used to people are used to camping and stuff and what I basically said to him was well I'm playing the same group of guys probably like seven eight times already so I already know how they play. Um, some of them were corner campers. Some of them, you know, really like to move around. And I kind of have to gauge who that is, and I have to predict routes. And pretty much the knowledge of a a player will outdo, you know, a camper any day. Because if I can predict where you're gonna be, what routes you're gonna take, uh, I can really agitate you and not get you in the rhythm that you're used to. And that really slows down your gameplay, so then they're going to get, get less kills, and I'm going to be able to shine. Like, perfect example right here. I kill this guy. One of my teammates called out to me. There's a guy camping out here. I predicted the corner, but I didn't see him because he was in cloak. And he actually gets me. And uh, there's a perfect example of a guy camping in the corner. Let me touch on that really quick. You're not going to stop camping pretty much no matter what. People have been, you know, fine-tuned already playing since COD 4. If they got their kills that way, they're not going to change how they've gotten their kills for, you know, how many years? Five years now? That's how they got their kills. They're not going to change it, you know, no matter what you put in the game. If you take out all the perks, all the kill streaks, you can't blame kill streaks because perfect example is bare bones. People still camp even with no kill streaks, no perks. It's just how they get their kills. You're not going to stop them from doing it. And even in this game, Crisis 2 gives you this awesome suit that you can run really fast, you can power jump, you can go power and cloak, and even with this cool suit that gives you all this mobility, all this movement, look at how some people play. They still just camp in a corner, they still camp in cloak. People fall in love with cloak. I'd, I'd rather shoot a guy at cloak any day. I do have the cloak tracker upgraded once so I can see guys in cloak a little bit better. But I'm trying to upgrade it to the final one where guys just fucking shine like a fucking diamond in some dark ass coal or something. <laughs> I don't know if that analogy even makes sense, but it makes it so like, man, once you put on the cloak tracker and you get it upgraded all the way, dudes just shine. They're just like, they have this glow about them. They look like they're a fucking Super Saiyan or something like that. So they're very easy to kill. 
And this is one of the stupidest moves I make in the game. I'm I'm in the spawn. I think that I could have pulled off a really good streak and killed like five, six dudes. But too overwhelmed, I get taken out. When you just get overwhelmed by too many guys, there's nothing you can do. I got a sniper shooting at me. I got a guy in a gunfight right in front of me. So I didn't predict any of that right. But uh, when I do predict it right, you know, things happen. I shine in the gameplay. Which I, I love running around, man. Like I said, Crisis 2 gives you this cool suit. Gives you all this stuff that you can move around and stuff. I don't want to camp. If I'm one away from a, a good kill streak, I might play a little bit slower than I do. But I'm not going to straight up just play like a bitch. Here's this pistol. Look how lucky I get. Last bullet and he's dead. I love this one. Got extended mags on that pistol. It reminds me, that pistol reminds me so much of like a deagle or something. That's why I love using it. And, uh, oh yeah, I don't know if you guys are interested in perk setup in Crisis 2 anymore, but let me just tell you guys what I'm using. Or I believe what I was using. I know I was using Cloak Tracker, I know I was using Side Pack, and my third one must have been Armor Enhance, but, sorry, that's the opposite of the way they're actually tiered up, but, so Armor Enhance cloak tracker and side pack so that's what I've been using lately side pack because this new weapon that they give you is really good but the one thing it's not good at is conserving ammo so side pack gives me more ammo and gives me an extra grenade I've already learned playing objective game modes that the grenades in this game are so overpowered that if you just spam them at the bases you're gonna probably get a kill no matter what because as far as I know there is no way to like, if you have a nade, like, right at your feet, you have the indicator right at your feet, you're not going to survive that no matter what, no matter how much armor you have. And pretty much, I thought that they should add a... Well, I mean, you already have the armor, but I've been in full armor before and taken a grenade and still died. I thought they really should have implemented a flak jacket perk or some perk that makes it so explosives aren't as powerful. They do have one thing, but I think it's kind of... It's not to the equivalent that a flak jacket would be. They have one called detonation delay. Which, I saw one guy use this, but he was being the most bitchiest dude I've ever seen. He used the, I think it's called the L-Tag grenade launcher. So you basically have this uh, fucking like six round grenade launcher. That you can just go plum, plum, plum. And he had detonation delay, which makes it so enemy grenades are delayed. And uh, I think every time you upgrade it, you just make it so like... You, you know, enemy explosives are delayed, enemy C4 is delayed, everything basically becomes delayed. And it was impossible to kill him pretty much because if you tried to nade him, he had the detonation delay, which I think that would be the equivalent. So, trying to always just uh, gauge both sides so I don't sound like a complete idiot. Some people are so one sided sometimes. I try to always explore both sides, you know. You don't want to sound like an idiot, like, oh, I hate this, I hate this. Well, did you ever think about it from their point of view? That's how I always think of it. Like that right there, that's some horrible hit detection that guy getting assist though always nice I have fun playing crisis 2 uh, if you guys uh, I always like that crisis 2 player so if you play crisis 2 for the most part guys a lot of guys have been asking me lately add me on ps3 add me at ps3 um, I haven't gotten to the the rhythm or mode of playing on the ps3 much at all because since the hack, I've been very disappointed. Uh, I've been playing Xbox way too much. A lot of my friends have converted over to Xbox, so currently I'm gaming on the uh, 360 most of the time. Going savage with the pistol right there. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I caught that guy in cloak, and I pretty much shit on all his health once I got him with one good shot while he was in cloak. And uh, pretty much, I think I go savage right here. Watch this part right here. I think I get the game winning kill right here with the pistol come around this corner I know he's there I, I this whole time I could have switched to my assault rifle but I get that guy for the game winning kill uh, really nice laggy game winning kill actually that one didn't lag that bad I think they might have fixed that game, uh, kill cams aren't as laggy but yeah 24 and 4 hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the crisis 2 on plaza I really love this map so you'll see some more gameplay from this map for me in the future but thanks for watching guys if you guys do enjoy the video please remember to just like it I really appreciate that but uh, thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys later peace